Hey, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today's topic of discussion is how to tie a double dropper loop rig for bottom fishing. This is a popular rig guys, especially for the offshore guys or the people fishing the deeper bays. So if you enjoy this video tutorial, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, and if you guys have a recommendation, don't be shy, share it below, and we may just add it to our list of tutorials. So let's get to it. All right, so a few essential things that you'll need for this double um, dropper rig is a pyramid sinker or egg sinker, a snap swivel, and a couple hooks. I'm using a little bit larger hooks for the demonstration, guys, so you can see how I place the uh, line through the eyelet of the hook. So first things first is you want to cut off about anywhere from three to five feet of leader material and that's going to be dependent on how far you want to separate your hooks. First step is to hold both the leader and your left and your right hand with your index and thumb and on the right hand you want to rotate it away and on the left hand you want to rotate it towards you. So essentially you are winding it and what you could do is once you start getting some really good twist you can go back and forth such as this and that'll make the um, the wraps that much tighter. Alright so I'm pretty happy with what I got there. So now what you want to do is go ahead and wrap, take your finger and make a little loop just like that. So one more time. Take your finger, go under, and just create grab that and it creates a little bitty loop so the very next step what you want to do is take this tag in and essentially wrap it six times so one Alright, so there's my sixth wrap, and this is what you should have. So essentially I have a tag in here, and then my main line that goes down here that'll um, house my second loop. So the very next step, what you want to do is go ahead and split the line up here. Alright, so now that I've separated my two lines up at the top here, I want to take this little area or this line that's been twisted and run it right through the two separated lines above. So you should be right here. Alright, now I want to slowly go ahead and pull this all the way through while keeping tension on both ends, both my tag end and my main line on this side. So you can see how this is coming together very nicely already. I'm going to use a little saliva and pull this thing tight. So now you just want to cinch it down nice and tight. Yeah. And it should look just like that. Alright, so the very next step, what I would do at this point is go ahead and tie on my sinker. This will be my bottom dropper hook. So and I'm going to tie this on with a, a simple improved clinch knot. You can use whatever knot you're familiar or comfortable with. Just pull that tight, just like that, so it'll look just like so. Alright, now going back over here, you can go ahead and add your hook if you want, but I usually would tie both of these and then add my hook. Take this line and run it right through the eyelet of your hook. And lastly, take your hook, just the uh, barb or the tip of your hook, and run it right through this little loop here. And you'll see that it goes right over there and comes down and seats nicely on the eyelet, just like so. Now keep in mind this is obviously a lot heavier hook because I'm showing it for demonstration purposes. Um, but I think this gives you the idea how that's supposed to look. Now let's proceed and tie our second loop. 
Okay, so now what you want to do is essentially repeat this process here. And just start with your fundamental twist going in the opposite directions and you'll get a nice spiral wrap here or a nice tight wrap and that's what you want you want it to look just like that alright and then what you want to do is pull the line under create this little loop and you gotta remember it's going to be going the opposite direction because your main line is going to be going left so go ahead and do your six wraps one Alright, so you should be about right here. Now what you want to do is go ahead and open up your center. Split the two lines. Once you open up that center piece, go ahead and place the line through that opening. And you should be here. Now what you want to do, don't mind this tag in, wants to keep coming back in the frame here. Get that out of the way. Alright, so it should be right here. Now what you want to do is start to pull this tight. Pull both of your tag ends and the loop. And what you want to do is use a little saliva and you can pull, pull your knot tight. Alright, and now what you want to do is go ahead and add your hook by taking this line, placing it through the eyelet of your hook, run that point of the hook right through the circle that you just made, and pull that tight. You'll see how that slides right down on the shaft of the hook, right below the eyelet. And now we have finished. Here's my one hook. Slide down a couple feet. We got our second hook right close to the bottom. And then, of course, our lead. If you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to create a dropper loop rig, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and hey, leave a suggestion. Would you like to see a specific tutorial? If so, I'd be happy to oblige. And until next time, Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button, show a little support. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.